Hey everyone, it's Dr. Edmund. Today we're going to talk about email to lead. So, you want to create a lead from email, but you want to write a bunch of code? There is a way to do it. But before we get into that, a couple of current ways of getting leads into Salesforce. You can do it manually, you can do web to lead, you can build a custom application to do this, or we can build this process right here. And how do we do it? We set up our case origin values, we enable email to case, we create email to case setups, and then we create a flow to pick up the case and then create a lead and then delete that case as well. So origin values, email the case, create the email the case, flow that creates a lead and deletes the case. Before we move on to that setup, please like and subscribe. I do produce Salesforce tips every week. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a case origin field or a value for the field. I created email delete here. You could call this whatever you want. This is gonna be our, our value that we're gonna key off later in our flow. Then I enable email the case. So I enable my email the case. Now I have that set up for me. Then I created an email to case. And I have, I called this one email to lead. And then you notice in my case settings here, I enabled email to lead as my case origin. That's going to be my trigger for, for later on. Then once I set all that up, I went over and created a flow. This is going to be a you know, field update when the record was created on the case object. And then I just specified that in the origin equals email to lead. So whenever a lead comes through that process where email the lead is selected, it's going to go ahead and kick this flow off. One of the things I had to do is if you don't create a, path, a scheduled path through this, if you just do it straight uh, automatically, the flow will error out on you. So you have to delay it just by a little bit. I even delayed this by zero minutes and it works perfectly. So it's there's like no real noticeable difference. So I have my email delete path. So I created that up. When you first start, it should look something like this. You have your trigger in the top there, and you have your run immediately, which we're not going to use. We're going to use the email to lead path. Once we have that going, we're going to go ahead and create a new record. We're going to create a lead record, and we're going to specify the values. And I use company description, email, first name, last name, lead source uh, as my options there. And what's really cool with email to case, you have some fields that get populated for you. So. Uh, with email to case, you have the email address there, you have the description field that you can populate, the supplied company, so it's gonna take their domain name and put that in there, so you have uh, that as well. And then for the first name and last name, that is populated as well, but it's a single value, so we have to break it out and then we create a formulas for that. And those look like this. So this is for the first name, this is what we did for that, and then the last name, this is the formula we use for that as well. And that just parses out to give you the uh, first and last name of that particular uh, case for, for that for the, for the name. So when you create the lead, it's going to pull in the values for that, and it's going to populate the lead, first name, last name, and then the other values here. So we have company description, email, and lead source. It's going to populate all those values for you. I just specified the lead source on lead as case email to lead. You could put in there whatever your value is that you wanted. So we go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go also delete that case because we don't want that case hanging around. Well, we can go ahead and delete it, so we can delete the case, and we just you know delete use the, the delete action, and you can specify the record. The record here is the record that, that triggered this whole process. So to just delete the record that started this, and then we're done. So when you're through this process here, this is very simple. We create a lead, we deleted the case. If there was additional things you wanted to do here, like maybe you wanted to add that lead to a specified queue, you could do a lookup for a queue in here to get that queue ID. If you wanted to do a record lookup, a record type lookup, you could also do a record type lookup, add that in the value as well if you want to assign it to the lead as well. So you can do some pre-steps in there as well before you create the lead to assign additional values. I didn't do any of those things this time, but you could do those in your flow as well if you wanted to. And then you're done. So thanks for coming and I'll see you next time.